everyone. I hope you have an amazing day. I just arrived at Karamakandara Resort. It's in Uluwatu and this is such a beautiful day. It's a really great weather. It's about 25, 26 degrees. It's really warm, cool, and it's kind of breezy as well. So we are here at the main lobby. And this is the buggy and they're helping us with all the luggage is going down right here. And the lobby is pretty small, but uh, the people are so friendly and they're really nice here. They're helping us a lot with the check-in. And the check-in is, is easy. We gotta wait for a couple of people. They're also queuing to get to the property, but we are here already, so we're checking in. Oh yeah, terima kasih. Oh yeah, terima kasih, Pak. 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 Yeah, terima kasih, Pak. Terima kasih, Pak. And they give us like uh, refreshing drinks in here, so I'm just gonna give it a try for the, for the refreshing drinks. I think it's made out of ginger or something. Yeah, there's a ginger and I can feel like there's the sweetness in it. It's not bad, it's pretty good. Checking all done, and now we're waiting for them to take us to our villa with the buggy. So we go with a buggy. So now I just arrived at our villa and the person that take us here is really nice. He uh, gave us a little bit of a tour of the villa itself. So let's go inside right now. So this is the main entrance of the villa itself. It's a blue door. They have another one with a red door. And I think it's, uh, it's probably a different between a suite and a junior suite or something. So the villa that we have in here, I think it's a standard villa. A deluxe if I'm not mistaken I have to check it again and the moment that you went in into the door the main entrance you are greeted by this pool and the pool it's not really big but it's uh, it's enough just for a plunge pool they also have this umbrella right here and just a place for you to just chill out so let's go inside so we are going inside here oh, why is it oh it's not locked here is the inside of the villa. It's not as big as the one that we had in Cayumanis, but it's pretty okay just for the two of us. So this is such an amazing place and no complaint at all with this kind of villa as big as this and with the things that they provided in here and they have, you know, cups and they have sink. They have this stove right here. It's amazing that they have a stove in here. You can cook uh, but they said that you can't cook heavy food so you can only cook a uh, light food in here like indomie or noodles or a cup of noodles or anything like that so it's, it just has to be light and so it's not smoky and it smell bad in the villa they also provide a toaster kettle wine glasses for those of you who bring your own favorite wine and sets of plates and bowls they also provide a refrigerator for those of you who likes cold drinks and bring your own food like we did with several fruits like this. They also give us coffee for morning and then tea. And here is a sofa right there and my wife is having a good time. She's having a good time right there. And uh, the sofa is really nice. Is it comfortable? Super. It's super comfortable. Yes, the sofa, and it's huge. It's big. You can actually fit about uh, maybe six people, six people of her size right here. You can, you can fit it right there easily. What's a really good thing is that they give us a dispenser. Wow. There's a big dispenser here and with full, with full water. Wow, so you can just drink like a fish. It's really generous of them to give this particular service. And here we got the bed. I think it's pretty small. I mean, it's not small in size, but it's pretty low. Uh, the bedroom that we had, it's probably around 40, 50 centimeter or 60 centimeter. You know, from the ground, this one is basically probably about 30 centimeter. 
even probably less than that is 25. So it's pretty low, but doesn't matter. So what you got right here is the, the wardrobe where you can put your clothes and also your luggage if it fits. So we did put our luggage in there so it doesn't look messy, it looks tidy. Uh, so we got to the, the main bathroom is right here. They got the toilet, it's down there and the vanity mirror. Oh, they give us two of the bassinet here. So you can have it each for the husband and the wife so they don't fight over the bassinet and they can do everything fast. It's, it's really convenient when you have two bassinets in here. It's really good. Right here we have the shower. Uh, it's not bad and they have the shower separated with the, the bathtub in here. So it's, um, it's, it's pretty good too. It's quite, it's quite nice. So I guess that's all for the tour inside the villa itself. So let's go somewhere else and uh, let's check out the property. Good morning, we are at Karma Kandara Resort and it's such a beautiful day, the sun's shining and we are going to the, uh, the restaurant called Di Mare and it's near the pool and we are going there and we want to see as well the roads to go there and we are going there by walk-in and it takes about five minutes walk-in so it's quite far but if you go with a buggy it's probably about two minutes so uh, we're going there now. I think that this is the main pool right over here. So this is the bottom part and we are going to the uh, the top part right here. So we're gonna see the the view from up here. I bet it's it's really beautiful.
Hey everybody, we are at the elevator back again. They call it gondola. So as you can see behind me, oh, it's very unsteady. So you gotta be careful. All right. So if you're a guest and you're not living in the, the villa in here in Karmakandara, so you gotta pay about 500,000. But if you are living in here and we stayed in here for three nights, so you get it for free. So you don't have to pay that much of money. You can see at the back, that's the ocean and it's really beautiful the ocean in here you can see it and it's really high i think uh probably i don't know it's it's really high it's like 200 meters away or something so the only way to go down is using the elevator right here, the gondola, and we're just gonna about to go out now. Hey everyone, we just finished our big lunch today and it was really really delicious and I love the burger in here. The burger is really delicious, it's really nice, very tasty. And my wife had a nasi goreng, I think. And the nasi goreng is also delicious as well. So the food are recommended and the place is really nice by the beach, just right there by the beach. So it's really good. And here is the, the area itself. And you can see at the back of me, that's the main restaurant right there. That's the main restaurant right there. And that's the ocean at the back of me. And in here, I saw a sign that you cannot feed the monkeys. So apparently there's a lot of monkeys here. And it says, please do not feed or tease the monkeys. They are fat and grumpy enough. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we can't really uh, give food to the monkeys or else they're gonna come back for you and they're gonna you know, jump on you or something. So we are heading back to our villa and we're gonna see the rest of the property from here. Right now we are walking through the villa. Oh, I think there's a buggy here. It's probably buggy. Ada buggy ga ya? Oh, tidak ada ya? Iya, saya dari 57. 57 jauh. Atau saya bisa Jalan. Jauh ya, jalan ke sana. Udah dekat Papa di sini. Udah dekat? Iya. So we are looking for a buggy, but we can't find any buggy in here. But luckily we bump into this lady, really nice lady, working in here and she told us the way. Hey everybody, good morning. Such a beautiful day today. The sun is shining and I think it's going this way. Not, not that way, this way. I see the buggy behind us and we're just gonna walk to our car. And it's really near, it's not really far. It's about like uh, two minutes walking. As you can see, that's the, that's the parking lot at the back. It's not much. Hello, Selamat pagi. Mau jalan-jalan, Pak? Mau ikut, Pak? Kita berenang di pantai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, terima kasih. So the parking itself, it's not much inside. There's not a lot of parking. They have limited parking space and these are all the parking space outside of the property itself. Today, we are heading to a different area of Bali around Sunset Road and Seminyak. Bali is still quite empty in most streets and areas as pandemic still hits her country at the end of this year. Hopefully, everything will be better next year where international borders are open and regulations are much more easier for tourists to come. Now I'm back at our villa in Karma Kandara. It's a great night to relax by the pool while drinking my favorite wine.
Hey, good morning, everybody. We are still in Karma Kandara, and this is our last day here. So we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna go to the, the pool area and down at the gondola and go into the, the place called the beach, the Karma Beach. And we're gonna have a little bit of a swim in there and also uh, trying some food and a little bit of breakfast too in there as well. So we're just gonna have a lot of good time here. Hey guys, I am back in Karma Kandara Resort and this is the beach. This is actually the private beach in here and it's just so beautiful. It's a really nice day and it's a really great day to go to the beach. I mean, the beach itself, it's really, really clean. It's one of the cleanest beach that I've been here besides one in Arpurfa and the other one in Ritz-Carlton. And then um, there's another beach as well that is clean, but this is one of the cleanest beach in Bali. And I, I think I haven't been here before, so this is actually my first time to be here. And my wife is just having a good time right there. She's enjoying the view and it's just so beautiful. It's really impressive, just terrific to be here. And we are so grateful that we have the opportunity to be here today. If you take a look at the, uh, the sandy beach, wow, it's just so white and cleaned. Uh, but they have a little bit of rocks here because the ocean, you can't really swim because that there's a lot of rocks, there's a lot of corals. I think there are some parts in here which they don't have a lot of corals. This part right here, they don't have too much corals. So you can swim right there just about five meters away from the edge of the, um, the beach here. So there's literally nobody here, literally nobody here. So it's just us, it's just like a private beach for us. So we're just gonna walk through and there's another property right here behind me, right there if you can see. And this property, I'm not sure what it is, but it's right beside Karmakandara. There's another private beach right there in front of us. It's like a dead end in there. The one that I'm just passing by right here, I think it's probably another property that not might be open right here because there's literally nobody in here at all except for me. I'm just gonna walk through the, the beach in here and uh, yes, it is another property and it's not opened. And it's, uh, I think it's been closed for a while, probably more than a year because of the COVID situation, the pandemic. So the cliff is just right here and then it goes through the ocean so you can't pass this cliff right here. If you wanna go here and wanna swim, wanna have a good time, yes. You can, just gotta be careful because there's nobody's gonna take a look at after you. Wow, this is perfect. It's a perfect place to be. Yes, absolutely. Especially if you come here with your family and your friends and it's really private and there are no other people in here. There are no locals, there are no other tourists in here uh, sunbathing or swimming. So basically, you feel like a king and queen just being here in this private beach as if that you rent it for your own. If you can hear the beautiful sound of the wave. Wow, amazing. Ah, she got a blue coral. Beautiful, beautiful blue coral right there. Gorgeous. Here, I'll, I'll give you back the blue coral. And my wife right here, she's listening to the sound of the wave. She said that she can hear it. You know, that sound of the wave in her heart. So I don't know if it's some kind of a mythical thing, but I think <laughs> she's, uh, it's not mythical, it's she said. It's a cosmic connection. It's a cosmic connection. I'm just, I'm just saying what she's saying. <laughs> so what do you think about the, uh, the whole place? Amazing. Amazing, yes. What do you particularly like about the, the place in here, like the, the beach itself in here, this particular beach. The clear blue water. The clear blue water, yes. 
definitely Anne. It's also empty and it's very private yeah. and there's not a lot of people and that is really important because we like it secluded and empty and quiet. Okay, so now we're just gonna head back to the, uh, to the hut and we're just gonna sit down and sip our drinks. I really need a cold drink right now because it's really hot, but it's such a beautiful day. So I have no complaints over that. Very good. A really, really delicious iced coffee. It's a perfect to start the day, especially in a day like this at the beach. Since that this is our last day at the resort, I'm going to recap about the property. Overall, it's a 9 out of 10 for us. The villa is clean and comfortable, the property is fantastic, the beach is super clean and impressive, and it's probably the best beach in Bali by far, and the staff are really friendly with terrific services. Will we go back here again? Most definitely, when we find the right moment for a perfect holiday. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and we'll see each other again in the next video. And have a great, wonderful day.